Okay, so I got air tank. I got a, a ball valve for this so I can turn it off without having to disconnect the tank, which is nice. MJ V03. And then new air tank. Uh, before anyone says anything, these are printed brackets because the screws that go along the sides normally, uh, like on my previous tank, uh, I didn't have long enough ones. They're waiting in the mail still. Um, so I got this. Uh, there will be four kind of printed brackets along the sides uh, with screws going from front to back. Right now, these are just printed brackets that are connected here and here. People have brought up that that's probably going to break over time. So we got bolts going along front to back in the mail. Not here yet. But this does fire. Uh, it currently has a really bad air leak in the front outlet, so the O-ring on this poppet here that travels back and forth in the middle, uh, the O-ring that seals this front hole is currently leaking pretty bad, but it does fire like really well so far. I fired it like 15 times. I'm a little bit worried about running out of air in the tank because I still don't have a compressor at home. Uh, but So I've only been firing it in short bursts, but it, is, it hasn't missed a fire at all yet. So I'm going to put this on, this headphone on, because it's loud, but I'll turn on the air. Here. Not that leak. So it's a leak in the front, but okay. moving stuff on my desk like three feet away. Even just thanks out there, This is nuts. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn off the air before I lose all the air in my tank. But like that's crazy. And it and it fired all the times, like successfully. Um which is pretty pretty crazy. Uh pretty impromptu. I'm going to figure out if I have a Mega XL Silly Shell so I can use it as a Mega Barrel because I want to see if this, like how much power this really has. So much here we are. Da, 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 da. All right. Like an XL silly shell. This one does not have rifling, but that does fit. Um, headphones on. Alright. How much air do I have left in the tank? Alright, it's almost completely out. So this is gonna be like the last shot. I'm gonna just put an O-ring over the outlet and just hold this there. And we'll see if this fires. All right, air, on, and. That is like crazy good. <laughs> I shot across the room, like really well. I dropped the other one on the floor. Uh, I'm almost out of air in the tank, so, eh, but that's nuts. That's crazy. Um, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep shooting until the tank is, like, fully, fully out, because it's already pretty much there. Um, like, it's reading zero on this thing, so, and this is not reading 100, and it should be 100, so I'm just gonna fire this into a mile. Yeah, it's already weaker.
you can hear the air is going away. Oh. And it's out. Oh, all out of there. Okay. That is like so awesome. Yeah, this is reading like 10 PSI on the rig. Um, that is crazy. I was not expecting it to work like first try of the big tank. Um, wow. Or not, uh, was this the first try? Uh, first try since I redid the, the poppet. I basically redesigned the entire way that the center poppet piece works. Um, and I put it back in this tank. I think the old one is somewhere here on the desk, but uh, I can't recall if I recorded a video and released it with that old one, but basically this has entirely new uh, internals that are assembled differently and have better O-ring placement. Um, pretty awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fully, fully out. Uh, that is crazy. And it was like moving stuff on my desk, like three feet away, not light stuff. It was moving like containers. That is crazy. That's so awesome. Uh, yeah, 3D printed HPA, pretty promising.